Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel DIY with Manisha and I am Nishant and this is my basement workshop. In this short video I am going to show you unboxing of Bosch GRO 12 V35 and compare it to my old Dremel 3000. This is the basic model of Bosch GRO 12 V35. This model does not come with a battery or charger. I will open the box and show you the components. There is there is a service center booklet, a warranty card, and a user manual. There is a small accessory box, and the tool itself. That's all there was in this box. I'm going to use a 12 volt battery from one of my drill drivers. I already have two of these machines from Bosch. They are very cheap compared to other options from Dewalt or Makita. So I already have two of these spare batteries and two chargers. If you are going to purchase this machine without having batteries beforehand, the batteries and charger combined will cost you as much as the machine itself. So you can simply click the battery in. I will zoom in on the machine to show you various parts. The first button is to lock the collet in position when you are trying to change the bit. The second is on and off switch. The third regulator is for speed control. It goes from 1 to 5 and many intermittent steps in between. The indicator behind the speed regulator shows you how much charge is left in your battery. As soon as you turn it on, the charge indicator will show you the battery capacity for a few seconds. I'll turn the machine on now at the lowest speed and then I'll gradually increase the speed so you can hear the rotation changing. That's one. It also has a LED light in front to illuminate the work area. That's all there was to show about this machine. Now I will compare it to my Dremel 3000 so that you can get an idea of the similarities and differences between these two machines. My Dremel is a corded model that works on voltage of 240. But if you are planning to buy any one machine between these two, or if you already have a Dremel and are planning to upgrade on this machine, then there are some things that you should understand beforehand to help you make that decision. I will now give you a side-by-side -side comparison of these two machines. As you can see that the Bosch is considerably longer than the Dremel, even after removing the battery, the Bosch is about an inch longer than the Dremel. The collet lock is located at almost the same position in front of the tool. The Bosch machine comes with an on-off switch, so after turning the machine on, you can use the speed regulator to increase or decrease the speed as per your requirement. Whereas in Dremel, you have to turn the machine on by using the speed regulator itself. It ranges from off position to a maximum speed setting of 10. The maximum RPM as indicated on Dremel is 33,000 whereas the maximum RPM indicated on Bosch is 35,000. In terms of weight, both machines almost have same weight. The Bosch including battery weighs as much as the corded version of Dremel. Both machines have a decent rubber over mold on the machine. It gives you a better grip and helps reduce the vibration to your hand. The build quality of both machines seem very similar. As for performance, 
I haven't used the Bosch as it's a new machine, so I cannot comment on that right now. If you are worried about the compatibility of Dremel bits with Bosch machine, both of these machines use a 3.2 mm chuck. I have installed an aftermarket chuck on my Dremel, a keyless chuck, so that it makes inserting and removing bits easier. This also helps me use it with different sized drill bits. Now as for compatibility, the thread size is exactly same. This is a small keyless chuck will fit on both the machines. So I have just removed it from my Dremel and I can screw it onto the Bosch machine and it just fits fine. Due to slight difference in the size of this threading, the cap from Dremel can fit on the Bosch but the cap from Bosch cannot fit on the Dremel machine. Now this Dremel cap can fit on both of these very easily. We will now check the compatibility of the new Bosch machine with Dremel flex shaft and this bit guide that came with Dremel. So as you can see the bit guide fits easily and then we can slide this again and it will work just fine with the Bosch machine and the Dremel itself. All of these accessories that I'm showing in this video are original Dremel accessories and not aftermarket. You might face some issues if you are using non-brand or aftermarket accessories that you used with Dremel. Now I will try and attach the flex shaft attachment to the Bosch machine. So as you can see, the flex shaft fits just fine on the machine. I'll just turn it on and see if it works. So it's working fine, it's not a corded machine, the machine itself tends to rotate with the flex shaft. So if you are planning to use it with the cordless machine, you have to make sure that you fix this machine in a proper manner to some sort of stand. So that it, instead of rotating the flex shaft, the machine might start rotating itself. To summarize this video, we have found that all the accessories that come with Dremel 3000 or other Dremel machines are compatible with the Bosch GRO 12V35, including the flex shaft attachment, the straight guide attachment, and even the chuck that replaces the old style collet are compatible with the Bosch machine. That sums up my today's video. If you like this video and found the contents to be helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll keep posting more DIY content.